Reverend Panoa Simona, Cabinet Ministers, Australia High Commissioner to Samoa, Her Excellency Emily Luck, Heads of Government, Agencies and Organizations, Vice Chancellor of the National University of Samoa, APTC Director for Skills for Employment and Training, Mr. Tim Harbison, APTC, APTC Country Director for Samoa and Tonga, Langaayalelifanu Esther Manila Silipa. Graduates, esteemed guests, ladies and gentlemen, talo for lava and good morning. On behalf of the Government of Samoa, I am delighted to join you all for the APTC Samoa graduation ceremony and to also deliver this keynote speech. In today's ceremony, we are celebrating the achievements of 93 talented Samoan women and men who will be awarded qualifications in six different vocational programs, which are construction, commercial cookery, hospitality, counseling, international skills training and advanced trainer and assessor course. I am happy to hear that all programs were delivered here in Samoa. Graduates, uh, you are now in a position to put your internationally recognized qualifications into practice as part of Samoa's workforce here at home and abroad. It is inspiring to see the majority of today's graduates are women, with a total of 56 women being honored today. Five of these women have attained the certificate two in construction. Well done to all the women for choosing to pursue technical and vocational education and training. The government of Samoa fully promotes uh, gender equality and we want to ensure the active contribution and participation of both Samoan women and men in all spheres and at all levels of development and decision making. Through the Samoa National School TVET policy 2018 and 2023, we have committed to increasing access for women to affordable TVET education. I thank the Australian government for the continuous support in promoting equitable access to TV and all opportunities for women in Samoa that aligns with this policy. Through initiatives like APTC, Australia is helping Samoa build a skilled workforce that can, be, that can access new and improvement employment opportunities throughout Samoa and overseas. The largest cohort of graduates is for the Diploma of Counseling program. These graduates from the counseling and social welfare sector, including staff from organizations such as the Nuole Lofa, NOLA, Samoa Victim Support Group, the YM, the YWCA Samoa, Talofa Kids, Ministry of Health and the National University of Samoa. The training of more qualified counsellors will help ensure the well-being of families and communities in Samoa and assist them to respond better to challenging situations such as COVID-19. Ladies and gentlemen, Samoa and Australia have a long-standing relationship that extends across political, security, economic and people-to-people -people links. This year marks Samoa's 60th year of independence and over 50 years of bilateral relations between Samoa and Australia. These bilateral relations have been particularly important 
in supporting our COVID-19 recovery efforts over the past two years. Australia's support through APTC delivered targeted qualifications and short courses training to over 300 Samoans to aid Samoa's recovery effort. This is also including the delivery of programs to construction, diploma of counseling, advanced trainer and assessor skills, whose graduates we are celebrating today. The Samoan government also welcomes our new partnership with Australia, Tautua, Human Development for All, which will seek to foster collective actions in health, education, gender equality, disability and social protection, which are areas most critical and needed here in Samoa. The Samoa Education, education Sector Plan 2019 to 2024 represents the Samoan government's policy to transform the sector into an efficient and relevant mechanism for the development of our country's human development, including in key economic sectors. This includes reforms to ensure that technical and vocational training is demand-driven and relevant to employer needs. Working with public and private sector partners, APTC is helping strengthen the national TVET sector to ensure it remains responsive to the needs of the Samoa's economy. APTC's presence in Samoa has always been supported by the government of Samoa and over 2,100 Samoan nationals, of whom 49% are women, have undergone training with APTC in various vocational fields. This is part of the growing number of over 17,000 graduates that APTC has produced across the region. This is a remarkable achievement for an institution that has been training Pacific Islanders for only the past 15 years. APTC works well in partnership with other institutions, industry bodies, and the local community. The Samoan government acknowledges the importance of these collaborations in improving TVED and resources, as well as supporting two SQA staff to, to undertake the advanced trainer and assessor course who are graduating today. I also take this opportunity to commend the work between Nua Nua Lelofa and APTC to promote inclusive education and employment opportunities for all Samoans. The partnership contributes to the government of Samoa's disability inclusive development agenda in the National Policy for Persons with Disabilities 2021 to 2031. My concluding remarks, graduates, in closing, graduations mark the beginning of a new journey for you. Your study journey at APTC has completed, but a new journey awaits you. You will face many challenges as you move on to the next phase of your lives, but always have the courage, determination, and perseverance, perseverance to excel. I am confident that the new skills and knowledge you have acquired through APTC has equipped you well for success in life and work. I challenge you to take what you have learned and go out and make meaningful contributions in your respective workplaces and communities. I wish to acknowledge Australia's support in ensuring Samoans can access training and skills to today to develop our country. Today's graduates, remember you are future leaders for this country. I urge you all to help make a difference that will not only help shape your future but also the future of our country. I wish you every success in your future endeavours. Maalole Tautai, Maalole Tautai. Congratulations and God bless you. Thank you so far.